last year, or, or yeah, the year just gone, um, we were covering a, a Grand Prix gliding event in Austria. Um, we had 15 of our, our trackers in the gliders. Um, and what they do is they, um, they take a position every five seconds and they send that, that position information back to us on the ground. We can then visualize um, all of the gliders in the air and actually see the race. The problem with glider racing previously is that they took off from the airfield, they then left for hours um, and landed. No one knew where they'd been, no one knew um, who had won at that particular point. Um, and you've got these gliders that are, are flying up and down mountain ridges, sometimes in excess of 200 kilometers an hour, um, really, really fast meters from the ground. Um, but no one ever saw the, the event. Um, and so what our trackers allow people to do is see that event pretty much live um, on the internet and on the ground as well. We had uh, a particular day. One of the, um, the glider pilots um, had, a, had a tracker in them, obviously. We were receiving data, and then suddenly the data stopped. We thought that was a bit strange. Um, and so after um, a minute or so, we, we looked at the data replayed the last couple of minutes of his flight so we could see him flying in the air um, and saw that he'd got too close to the ground and crashed. Um, so we were able to get the position at that particular point. We were able to tell the event organisers. They scrambled a helicopter um, to go and find the guy um, and luckily he was taken to hospital um, and he's still in hospital to this day but he's still alive um, and that's that's the important thing. Um, but Without tracking technology like that, um, he may never have, have survived. We may never have known that he had crashed until hours later when everyone else landed and he hadn't. Um, so it was, it was very useful, very useful thing. In particular with the air sports events, it's getting more and more important that, um, that there is tracking in, in the devices. Um, the the organising bodies, the governing bodies, are, are looking at ways um, in which they can encourage the event organisers to make sure that the devices are mandatory, um, that, that every glider has one in, certainly during competitions. Um, during competitions, it's the, the, they take more risks. It's, it's the competition's fierce and, and they want to win, and so they, they, they take those risks. Um, and that's the time where accidents happen, so it's very important for them to do that. It comes down to the fact that um, the, you can get a signal out from pretty much anywhere. Um, so it, it doesn't matter where you are. We've had people um, in the undergrowth in the Amazon canoeing down the Amazon River. We've had people on the top of Everest. We've had people um, up at the, the North Pole, down at the South Pole, in the middle of oceans. It, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as you can see the sky, and sometimes when you can't see the sky, um, it still works. So, um, so it's 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 important that it's reliable, and that's that's what we get with um, with Iridium and the Yellow Brick.